Jeremy Corbyn says the UK must still do business with Vladimir Putin despite all fingers pointing to Russia over the Salisbury spy poisoning. The Labour leader has faced criticism for failing to condemn Russia outright. He now says he wants an absolutely definitive answer about the source of the nerve agent before blaming Moscow. Well, joining us now, former Labour MP George Galloway, who says it's unlikely the Russian government was behind the poisoning. Alongside him is journalist and former Labour adviser Dan Hodges. Very good morning to you both. Morning. Um, George Galloway, we said just before um, we cut to the regional news that you were going to reveal who you do think is behind the poisoning. Uh, I, mean, I the don't know why you said that, because I'm not. Uh, I have no idea who did the poisoning, right. just that Russia must be near the bottom of the list of suspects. Okay, so they're the only... Logically. It's the only country which has uh, produced this Novichok well, that nerve isn't agent. That simply isn't true. And what other countries do you think have, George? Well, Iran did so in conjunction with the OPCW, the Organization for the Prevention of Chemical Warfare, just to show that it could be done. Uzbekistan was the place where the thing was invented. Porton Down the British nerve center center has absolutely refused to say that this material used in this dastardly attack was made by Russia and of why a type would any of those countries or people or units have any incentive to attack a uh, Russian double uh, agent I, I, I haven't suggested that at all I'm merely making the point that I don't know but George, when you neither, say, when you neither say, does Porton Down know. Right, but George, when you say Russia is bo near bottom of the list of yeah. suspects, yeah. Vladimir Putin is on the record as saying that traitors like this should kick the bucket, right? He, 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 said, he, the, said, well, he said that in an interview. We played it last week, right? Well, so if you take that as his general view of traitors, yeah. and you see the It's number, everybody's view uh, of right, traitors. But, but unlike, Every government in the world has that view yes, about but, those who betray their right, secrets. But Putin, Putin and his regime, or mm -hmm. his government, have a pretty un illustrious track record of enemies disappearing or dying, right? Well, that's true. You'd in, accept that? In, yeah, in London uh, and England especially, uh, right back to Peaky Blinders, mm. if you recall, uh, the nest of Russian emigres have a long hundred-year record of stealing from each other, murdering each other, why would murdering Putin other not do this? people. I don't understand why you think he's not a suspect. The methodology and the timing. They could have killed these people at any time if they'd wanted to. Poor Yulia lives in Moscow. But he did, it been... ten, he did it ten days before the election, and his own spokesman said after he won the election they would like to thank the British people because they helped Putin get the vote out. The timing strength, issue, strengthened him. The time issue is in relation to the World Cup. This was to be the showcase of the new Russia, Putin's Russia. Mm. 100 days before the opening of the World Cup, they choose that moment to kill someone they could have killed at any time, including when Skripal Sr. was in their own custody. Yulia lives in Moscow, could have been strangled silently right, final with question her own get scarf. But, George, who, who else... Would Has have the means the and the motivation. Who else would want to kill this guy? Well, I don't other know. than Russia. Well, neither you nor I know what this fellow has been doing, who he's been doing it with over these last mm. eight years. I'm telling you, the oligarchy and, uh, and fugitive thieves in Russia murder each other with great frequency. Mm. And they do so for criminal, not political purposes. Okay.